Welcome to the Gospel Doctrine Helps class, where we provide you with insights, quotes, references, and help for your Gospel Doctrine class. One of the attributes of Christ that we all ought to be seeking to acquire is the attribute of meekness. Meekness is a tough one for a lot of people. Um, it's a tough one for all of us. It might be a tough one for you. It's definitely been hard for me. And I still don't feel like I am meek. So I work on this on a regular basis. I should work on it more. And I would encourage you to work on it as well. There's a passage, a few passages in scripture. We'll look at this as we look at and visit the term meekness and this attribute of Christ and how we can acquire it for ourselves. Uh, the first passage would be in Matthew uh, chapter 11, verses 28 through 29. Uh, Christ says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Now there's a lot in these two verses. Um, I'm going to point out simply two things. One is he says, come unto me. I believe that in order to acquire meekness, in order to come unto Christ, in order to become Christ-like, you need to acquire his virtues. One of his virtues being meekness. He says, I am meek and lowly in heart. So what does it mean to be meek? Oh, before we go there, there's one other passage we should look at, and that's the passage in the Sermon on the Mount. That's Matthew uh, chapter 5, and it's verse, um, verse 5. Matthew 5, 5 said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So meekness. Meekness to me means a person voluntarily restrains themselves to exercise the absolute minimum control or authority over others. It means they don't seek to control others. They don't put their, their thumb on top of them and push them down. They're not coercive. They're not forceful. They don't demand. The meek simply allow others to make their own choices. The meek, hopefully, teach correct principles and let the people govern themselves. Meek, um, in this verse that we just looked at, the meek are blessed. Another uh, translation for the word blessed in the Sermon on the Mount is uh, fortunate. Blessed, I've talked about before, is also capitalized, which means that it could be a name or a title. Think of blessed as being one who is loved of the Lord, who, like Abraham, becomes a friend of the Lord if you acquire this virtue. I believe that meekness is a conscious effort to avoid harming or offending others. It means that you have restraint in the things that you do and in the things that you say. It's very easy sometimes when you're comfortable around someone. Think of family members, people you've known for a long time, to simply air out your feelings or air out your thoughts, uh, regardless of whether others will take offense to them or not. But meekness requires an absence of self-will and a desire to help or to bless others. And meekness is not insistent upon being recognized or receiving applause or fame or recognition for one's acts. Uh, a good example for me is Mother Teresa, who went and blessed the poor and served those who were homeless and hungry in the streets of Calcutta. Um, that is someone who is meek, who's not seeking to get some type of reward here and now, but rather who is seeking to do Heavenly Father's will or God's will. Um, meekness is a willing to suffer without complaining. It's really easy to complain when we're sick, uh, when we're having heartache, when trials and challenges are upon us. I, for one, am really bad about this. When I get sick, I moan, I complain. And meekness is when you don't moan, you don't complain, you simply recognize that Christ suffered more than all of us, and therefore we have no room to complain, because our suffering in comparison is magnitudes less. I think that other people usually never recognize the meek, 
because meekness does not vaunt itself. It does not seek a claim. It does not say, hey, look at me. I'm meek. So often the meek go unrecognized. I think many of the meek, um, because they don't demand notice of others, they go unnoticed. And so they don't receive leadership callings, for example, and they aren't applauded and put on TV for others to see. The meek are satisfied with the things that they're able to do. They realize that they can't make the world peaceful. They can't, uh, they can't feed all of those who are starving and hungry. They can't, they can't do everything for everybody. So they're simply satisfied when they're able to help one person one person. Think about if you were to try and become meek and you were able to simply help one person, what would that be like? I think there is freedom in meekness because you don't have to seek a praise or a claim from others. So you can simply feel secure that what you do to serve God is noticed by God. God sees it. God will give you your reward for what you do here on the earth. And one of those rewards is giving you peace of mind here and exaltation in the world to come. If you will earn it, if you will receive it, if you will live in a meek manner, you can get approval from God now by living meekly. It is not between you and me. It's not between you and any other person on this earth. It's not between you and an organization. It is between you and God. I think that meekness oftentimes is con confused with humility, um, but humility is different. Humility is, uh, you know, voluntarily submission to the control or the power of God, um, or oh, in, in other words, obedience to the commandments. But meekness affects a person's relationship with your fellow man, not so much with God, because there's nothing showy or attention grabbing from those who are meek. You know that you're doing the things that you're doing for approval from God, not so you can get praise and honor from men. Unless God requires something to be done, the meek simply go about doing their best to serve others, taking care of their families, loving others that they come into contact with, because the meek are not on display. Another verse in scripture that I think is worth looking at is found in Numbers 12, 3. If you've watched many of my videos, you've probably seen this when we've talked about meekness before. Uh, meekness is um, a quality that Moses had. This is Moses 12, 3. It says, Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Now, if you look at this in my King James Version, uh, that verse is in parentheses. And I think it's interesting that it's in parentheses because if you read all of verse 12 of Numbers, what you realize is that Miriam and Aaron, um, they were criticizing Moses. And so during this criticism, it's mentioned that he was meek. Moses did not lash out. He didn't feel that he was above criticism. He didn't feel that people could um, not voice their opinions around him, even though he stood in God's presence and he was familiar with God's power. Moses did not feel himself above anyone else. He realized that he was just like all of us equal and he did nothing to defend himself against the criticism that he received. Um, so, I don't think that meekness requires you to even defend yourself because Moses did not defend himself. So other people can have their opinions, they can criticize, they can say whatever they want, but all of that is irrelevant when it comes to doing the will of God. God's will and doing God's will is between you and God. And then meekness is how you treat others. He did not uh, lash out. He didn't say, hey, I've stood in God's presence, leave me alone. He didn't do any of that at, at all. Instead, Moses merely took the criticism. And perhaps he even thought about it because perhaps, perhaps it's something worth considering. So when others criticize me, I try and take those things and, and see if there's merit to them. And I think we all ought to do the same thing. You know, um, meekness 
if it's in the right place, can give us meaning in life. Meaning in life because we are focused on the things of God rather than the things of men. You know, um, it's very difficult, I think, to acquire meekness. I think it needs to be, it needs to be sought after. And one of the ways that we seek after it is by doing God's will. If we aren't going about doing God's will and we don't have God in the forefront of our mind, then it's very easy to think that we need to get the praise and honor of others here in this life. The truth is we don't need praise and honor from others. We instead need to do what God wants us to do. And what does he want us to do? He wants us to love each other and to love him. We love him by keeping his commandments. That's how we show our love towards God. How do we show our love to our fellow men? Is it by serving them? Is it, is it by doing good to them? Not seeking recognition for those things that we do, but instead honoring God by loving others, giving others the benefit of the doubt, and doing good to those, even those who despitefully use and abuse us, praying for them and treating them the same way God would treat them, which is loving them despite their inadequacies, loving them despite the, the fact that they may hate us, loving them despite the fact that they may wish us ill. It doesn't mean we have to hang out with them if they're trying to kill us. Um, Nephi is a great example of that. He knew that he had to separate himself from his brothers at some point in order to protect his own safety and that of his family, his children, and, and his associates. And, and so that doesn't mean you hang out with people who are trying to kill you. But he still prayed for them, and he still loved them, and he did not seek his own acclaim. So we, not, we ought not seek our own acclaim either. We ought to try and be meek. I hope this has been helpful in you learning about meekness. If you think I got something wrong or you think I'm right, let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you think there's other verses of scripture that we ought to consider or something, uh, perhaps a quote or something that you'd want to share, leave that in the description box below as well. Thanks for watching.